Okay, so what is a lone wolf? Um, there's a lot of kind of jargon and terminology that kind of gets used by preppers and um, and lone wolf is one of the things that a lot of my friends are kind of looking at me a bit questioningly when it gets, uh, if it ever gets mentioned. So lone wolf basically is, well, what it says on the tin, going off and being a lone wolf, going off, doing it on your own, if SHTF happens, a lone wolf will get their bug out pack and just disappear off into the wilderness and survive completely self-sufficiently and manage to evade and, you know, sort themselves out without the help of anybody else, any any community or anything. <clears throat> I mean, I kind of think it's quite a lonely existence and it does get slated quite a lot. A lot of people on, on kind of prepper groups do kind of seem to go by the, oh, it's just people that are being macho and, and I guess that there is an element to it for that. But I think like lone wolf survival, I, I do think that there's a lot of credibility to it. I mean, I think you're going to have to have a, a really, really impressive, impressive skill set to do the lone wolf thing. But I think that it is possible. Um, I mean, for me, it would be an absolutely, absolutely terrifying concept to be totally on my own. But I think I could do it if I needed to, um, but I would not be wanting to be preparing to do that as my my kind of first option if SHTF happens. For me, it's community all the way. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of, one of my friends once said, I have the survival instincts of a clumsy lemming. Um, and I think that describes me pretty well. So I think I would be terrible at lone wolfing it. But I do have quite a few friends that, um, and most of the most of the friends I've got that talk about lone wolfing that I think could actually do it um, are all ex forces. So I kind of think military training. If anyone's got a military background, then I would be uh, I would be finding their claims to be prepping to be a lone wolf a lot more credible than if they didn't have that. Um, and yeah, so I mean, if you're a lone wolf, I don't think that you'd be able to settle on your own because you'd kind of have all the daily tasks of kind of running a community and kind of running a homestead sorting security um that would kind of normally kind of fall to a group of people um but i think if you were traveling then being a lone wolf would be something that would be a feasible a feasible thing for some people like i say you'd need the skill sets um you mean if you're traveling then you wouldn't be kind of using up kind of forage spots or whatever so if you've got foraging skills hunting skills and you're able to travel you're able to walk or whatever then I mean there are people that go out and, and live in the wilderness of the Appalachian Mountains in North America um, and I don't see people for like you know decades in some cases um, so you know that sort of that sort of skill level I think that lone wolfing it would be would be a feasible thing but for the majority of people you're going to need to have, I mean, every single thing that you need being responsible for yourself. And like I say, if you settle, then you've kind of got the security thing as well, because if you're on the move, then you're you're kind of able to, like, you know, not kind of attract attention because you're not there for long enough to do that. But if you're lone wolfing it and you're settling and you're wanting to grow veg and you're wanting to be more sustainable rather than kind of living on scavenging and foraging, which is kind of, I guess, what a lone wolf would be doing um, if it was an actual real wolf and not a prepper person. Um, so I guess that's where the similarity for that one comes from. But uh, but yeah, so that's that's my views on the lone wolf philosophy. But yeah, and I'll put a link in the description to uh, to the I've said before. I think that Etsy the Iceman is the original original prepper, and yeah, I think you know five thousand years ago he was definitely definitely a lone wolf survivalist. So uh, so yeah. Otzi the Iceman is is definitely definitely someone to aspire to and I'll put a link to uh, to my video um, my review of the uh, Otzi knife because can't let be a uh, a bit of Otzi history in the morning but yeah take care and peace and love